All right, guys, Dave, Mad Max, and we are back at the Mecca, and this is Muscle Beach TV for digitalmuscle.com, and today I got lucky. <laughs> today I got a text. Actually, yesterday I got a text from my good friend Chris Gatton, and he's in town for the show, for the last show of the summer, the Excalibur, correct, Chris? Mm -hmm. Yes, you got it. It's been a long time since I've been down here, D. <laughs> I don't remember the first time I was here, well, visiting, but living here. I was pretty much living in your store in 2005, know. you know? know. Hold on, I'll go too fast, man. So I was, I, when, you, when I knew he was in town, I said, please, you know, let me do a Muscle Beach TV interview. There's so much that's happening. People don't really know the history, how we know each other. So I want to go over that because now you're a big shot in the bodybuilding industry. Everybody knows Chris Gethin. You've done so much already, and I want to kind of take them back a little bit and, and tell them, you know, your, your, your story. So I met Chris. Do you, what was the year? 2005, 2000? Because I owned the four, uh, store, Max Muscle, in 2004. You came right after. Yeah, it's, it's 2005. I, I uh, was Shortly pretty after. much, yeah, I was pretty much living on your couch. Yeah. <laughs> so you came to from uh, actually uh, you, you're from Wales, but uh, you were with your girlfriend Colleen at the time, who was from Australia. She actually worked for me, and then uh, Chris was became just part of the fixture in Venice, and you started working, you know, for Flex Magazine and doing all those stories, and you be at the store all the time. And uh, so tell me a little bit how how your your journey started in the United States and, and what you did and to become who you are today. Well, as you know, you know everybody would was become would be coming into your store, including <laughs> Sean Perrine, yeah. uh, Greg Merritt, and I used to just submit those articles to those guys and just kind of hound them, you know, and probably out of annoyance in the end, they just said, okay, let's just give this guy a break. <laughs> that's and how you got the job. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I just become a pain in the ass. So there's like, God, give him something to do. So then I started contributing to the publications. And uh, then as you know, for, further from there, I came out with my own publication for a little while, Cage Muscle Magazine. Yeah which then got noticed by uh, Ryan DeLuca over at bodybuilding.com several years later, yeah. so which uh, took me up to Idaho. Wow, um, it, it's interesting because a lot of time people are asking me, how do you do what you do today? And how did you get to know all these, you know, all these champions and all stuff? And of course, the store is a big reason for that because it was a hub for everybody in, 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 in bodybuilding. They would come to Venice, they would go to the fire house, they would come and train at goals, they would come by the store. And very quickly, and also because Colleen was working there, you knew that. So you were always hanging out with me at the store to get those stories. He was always asking me questions, hey, who came by today? What's the gossip? And I would just tell him all those stories, which you would take to put in the magazine. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> because I'm like, that is the hub. Like every everybody from around the world is looking to this area <laughs> and everybody who was anybody but not just bodybuilders celebrities would be coming into your store yeah. as well so it's like yeah that's a place that i'm gonna hang out <laughs> i'm gonna eat my meals there i'm gonna open up whenever possible and just hang out there and you know you say it's because you know everybody yeah, but the thing is, the only reason that you know everybody is because you're such a genuine character. <laughs> like, you've always been very humble, very down to earth, very giving, very nice. So uh, I think that's why you are still doing what you're doing today and evolving, you know. Well, so anyway, the guy, the job that I got, I got it because of this guy. So some people ask me, how did you have that idea? You know, eventually Chris moved on and started his own magazine and, you know, worked all over. Uh, so I kind of just kind of left took over where you left at Flex and just started doing, doing you know, on the online mostly, not not because I'm not the greatest writer, not in the magazine, but yeah, eventually the, the video evolved into the videos and all that stuff. But um, today, um, you actually have a very popular brand, and I know it's very popular because I work, I do demos at Vitamin Shop, you know, for BPI, and Cage Muscle is actually now, or Cage Supplement, I don't know how you call it. Cage Muscle Cage supplements. Muscle Supplement is actually in all the Vitamin Shop and is doing very, very well. Talk to me about the progression from having your magazine into you know your online now and, and how it's growing so great. So uh, after I had the magazine, I got offered the position as editor in chief for bodybuild.com. So I was there for several years, and then I moved to India. Yeah, the bikes in Venice. Yeah. <laughs> then I moved to India, and uh, you know I was training some Bollywood stars over there. And during that time, you know, I obviously saw that there was a need for gym, so we worked on a, a gym franchise. Mm. But there was also a need for supplements, not just in India, but I felt across the world because I was form not formulating, but mixing my own raw ingredients because I couldn't find anything in the efficacious dosages that I wanted. I'm just a selfish, picky person, <laughs> you know? And uh, luckily, you know, I'd got to know uh, some fantastic people in the world, Brian Rand, you know, formulator that formulated other brands out there, including the bodybuilding.com line. And, uh, you know, I knew a fantastic C uh, CFO as well. So we decided and you know, through some conversations, okay, we're going to invest pretty much our life savings into this thing, knowing that we're going to work on very razor sharp margins, but 
not put anything into marketing really and let's just see where it goes and uh, we're three years old now as of today and in vitamin shop uh, they tell us we're the fastest growing brand that they've ever had in their histories and you know we don't market it it's just word of mouth you know people try it they love it I was just going to ask you, how do you put yourself out there? Do you use social media a lot or is it just people telling, hey, try this brand? Because that's what people will do. They'll actually come to the store and say, they ask by name. They say, I want cage muscles. So they take them to your stuff and actually see that happening. So is it just word of mouth or is it like social media or you don't advertise anywhere? You're like, you're like Starbucks? <laughs> Stop it. Well, pretty much, this is how I do it. You know, I do my video series. I do my video trainers, yeah. and I just try to educate people. That's yeah. all I do. You know, given my perspective and the understanding of a logical and scientific perspective as well. And then it's up to the, the followers' unbiased decision whether to try it or not. So whenever I do have a little bit of profit, I pretty much do giveaways because I want to put it in, put into people's hands. And when people try it, I'm pretty confident that they're going to stick with it. So that's pretty much my marketing and advertising through education, content, giveaways. And now we're able to sign a few athletes as well that are much prettier than me and can get out to a wider audience as well. So we've got Ashley Horner on board. We've got Jesse Norris, who's a world's strongest powerlifter, pound for pound. And he's got a six pack all year round, wow. you know, and, uh, You know, there's a couple of other people that we hope to bring on as well to be evangelists for the brand. Wow, you came a long way, man. It's so great to see someone who comes here with nothing but the clothes on his back and actually, you know, uh, make it all the way to the top. Do you It's remember we were, I was staying with Dave Hughes for a little while. All I had was a push bike. It's pretty cool, yeah. And, I, you know, I'm still far from reaching the heights. I'm here in a rental Hyundai. I'm not one of these other fitness icons in nice cars or anything I like picture, that. I can't picture, even if you were rich, I can't picture you... In a doing that car. Nah, yeah, no, it's, it's not it's my not style no nah, no nah. i think that's reserved for people with little willies you know <laughs> i'm pretty good there <laughs> <laughs> no comment um so chris um you traveled the world quite a bit you uh, um you once you left california you actually moved to uh, boise idaho to work full-time for for uh, bodybuilding.com correct correct yeah i was the editor-in-chief there for a little while so how long did you stay in idaho I was there for like three years, yeah. almost three years, and uh, then I left and back to the UK for a little while, then I headed over to India. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I was training a lot, you know, some Bollywood stars. I was only going to. For gonna, a while. For a while. I was only going to go there for 12 weeks. But the transformation that my client went through pretty much hit headlines. So then all the celebrities wanted to train. So I thought, well, you know what, I'll stick around for a little while. How long did you stay? I was there for three years. Wow. Three years, yeah. And uh, so then from that, I could definitely see a huge void in the gym industry because yeah. fitness was growing. Everyone's motivation motivated over there, but the education was far from uh, the standards of here in the US. And, uh, you know, personal trainers don't get recognized as a profession over there. They're more like bag carriers, you know. Wow. So I decided we wanted to change things there. So myself, Jag Chima, Neil Hill, we certified over a thousand trainers there. And then uh, about a year and a half ago, I uh, launched my gym franchise with my business partner. Wow. Uh, so we've got four gyms there at the moment. And, uh, Caged? Uh, no, uh, Chris Gethin Gyms. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, and uh, we're launching probably about four more now in 2018 and looking to the U.S. in, wow. in the la last quarter of 2018 as well. That's amazing. That's yeah, awesome. it, it keeps me out of trouble. Yeah, yeah. you're busy very busy but thankfully like with cage muscle the gyms i just got some fantastic people around me who are very very smart at what yeah. they do yeah. so i rely upon them a lot of the time yeah so I'm, i'm blessed like that okay and now you're back in idaho you actually are back in the states but we will see you again soon you're going to be uh, you know meeting with your fans at the fit expo you told me the fit expo yeah i just got confirmation yesterday that i'll be there um on the vitamin shop booth nice. so uh, hopefully i'll get in some workouts down here at the same time i'm going to have a workout with danny hessler i can't shoot that today but next time you come i need to get you on camera for that man i'm so happy that he won the olympia so so happy and you know he's always had a physique that i really look up to so hopefully i'll uh nick some pointers from him yeah, today pick a few tips yeah. yeah you got it you got it yeah so it's really good to be down here you know like i left boise this morning very cold uh but come down here and i decided you know under the radar i'm going to let you guys know now because it'll be old news soon uh, that i'm going to do a spartan tomorrow so i was supposed to be in dubai this weekend okay. that oh, that yeah. that got cancelled like three weeks ago and i thought perfect i'm going to fill up that weekend so there's a spartan out What's a spartan spartan event you haven't heard of spartan it's like a tough mudder oh you know so you go over obstacles over so many miles so you're still crazy yeah 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 always <laughs> always a little bit crazy or stupid let's call it stupid yeah 
So, uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of endurance events recently. Like I just did an Ironman this year. I wow. did a half Ironman and a full Ironman. I've got an ultra marathon that I'm doing this year uh, in January, actually, just like four weeks ago. So I'm just trying to prove to a lot of other bodybuilders, not massive bodybuilders, but somebody that's like 220, that you can be versatile. You can do these things and not wither away. You just don't eat like an ultra marathon runner. You got to eat like and supplement like a bodybuilder. Yeah. But you know, you can do these things. I think it's important for you, especially having your own brand, that you live that lifestyle and you can actually, people can actually follow you and see that and see, wow, look, he's living the life. He's, you know, obviously what he's, what he's doing and what he's telling, what he's selling us is good. So yeah, it ha it's, it's got to help yourselves. Oh yeah, for sure. It, 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 it'll help that. But for me, like I'm just fascinated and passionate about learning about functional medicine, about, you know, how the gut biome can have a chemical reaction to your brain that's positive or negative and I'm absolutely fascinated I can't get enough books into me and uh, I just think that sort of aspect along with the versatility of your fitness and bodybuilding always having my pivotal foot in bodybuilding yeah. but I like to tap it out into other areas and experiment on these things on myself wow. in order for me to give an opinion you know I've been vegetarian for the past couple of months and fasting at the same time during wow. the day just to give it a shot you know I'll do it until Christmas day yeah. <laughs> then I'll knock it on the head and I'll start another muscle building video series in January and uh, you know just change things up you know I like to swap things up and keep it interesting you know just to give it a better opinion that's genuine to the follower where are all your videos bodybuilding.com or that yeah I got some on bodybuilding.com and I got them um, on cagedmuscle.com okay. as well and I'll be shooting another eight week this time an eight week uh, muscle building video series um, that you know that will basically replace the 12 week video series that I shot about four years ago now okay. because you know I'm always learning new things so I think I'll be able to get the same sort of results over an eight week period I'm sh hopefully this old body will uh, as opposed to a 12 week period with new uh, principles you get a book out also I right. got six books out. Oh, there you go. Books. So where can, where can they find the books? Uh, ChrisGethin.com. Okay. Chris Gethin. You can go to Amazon and stuff like that, but ChrisGethin.com has all of them. I've got a graphic novel. I've nice. got um, you know, uh, fitness books. I've got kind of fictional, fictional factual books. Wow. And, uh, and uh, like a, a, a motivational sort of memoir, which I'm sure you're inside. Actually, it came out last year <laughs> called the, the Transformer. <laughs> man, you're busy. I don't know how you cram all this in 24 hours. That's crazy, man. It's, it's all about being efficient. Yeah. It? It's like how many people tell you, oh, I don't have time to exercise. Yeah. I don't have time to get all those meals in. It's all about efficiency yeah. at the end of the day. You know, yeah. you just have to be kind of prepared. And, and if I don't have all these things, man, life would be a white knuckle ride for me. Yeah. So uh, it keeps me out of the chaos. You still talk to Flex? You good buddy Flex? Yes, yeah, Olympia. They yeah. speak to Flex, not too much now. You know, he's a busy guy. Yeah. yeah and he's got a family. I'm not a family guy myself. Yeah, he's so the I king now. Remember when he was yeah, nobody? A little <laughs> kid, a little kid. And he pretty much sleeping on your couch as well, you know? A lot of people say on that couch. You, Cormier, Flex. Dorian was there. Remember yeah. you brought Dorian? Dorian, yeah. He was here a few times. And he, he came back here not yeah, so long yeah, ago, yeah. a couple of months ago. Uh, but yeah, those are really, really good times. Every now and again, you know, Gaz will send me some pictures of us and Flex when we were messing around. Like, wow, God, look at that plump little Welshman there, you know? But it's great to see, you know, how far Flex has come along as well. You know, not only just with his physique, but, you know, really really matured into somebody that's very inspiring yeah. and genuine still you know awesome. well Chris thank you so much for taking the time to do this today I'm sure you have a lot to do and it means a lot for me uh, for you to come on the show and then uh, it's always good to see you and I, I hope we get to hook up for, for a workout in the future yeah for sure man well okay start carpet loading now for January <laughs> brother Fit Expo let's do it alright is Dave by Max with Chris Gethin for Muscle Beach TV and we're out thank you very much sir